Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys. So in the past you've seen me tie the Ace of Spades in the Matuka style. So tonight we're going to tie the Ace of Spades in like a rabbit zonker style. So the Ace of Spades is a fly from, well, it must be 30 plus years ago now. And uh, another of the sort of last from the past things. Now I'm going to try and take this out and catch a big wild brown with it. But uh, I suppose when I started fishing or when I first came across it, it would have been a fly we fished for rainbow trout. So here we have a Camazan B830 size 8 uh, lure hook. So this is like a 2x long. Uh, standard lure type hook. I'm using Danville's Flymaster 60 in a black. I'm going to wrap over it now. Holding your thread up at an angle like this as you put a wrap on it will slip down it and that does help you create sort of more even turns as you put out of body. Once I get level with the point I'm going to snap that off and then for a bit of weight under it I'm going to get some lead wire. I'm going to pinch it here at the back and I'm going to wrap that forward in turns and leave a quarter of the shank uncovered at the front. And I'm going to take my dubbing needle, get some clear varnish on it and run varnish over the wire. And then I'm going to wrap back and forward over it just to secure it, hold it in place. Doesn't need to be totally wrapped over there because uh, it won't be seen. For the body, uh, it's going to be black chenille, but for the wing, we're going to use a zonker strip. So I'm going to put the zonker strip on now, and this one that I have has quite, this is rabbit now, but it has quite long fur, possibly an inch long, maybe a little bit more. So I'm just going to grab it by the back end. So if we look at it here, we see the fibers are all running in this direction. So that's the way it's going to sit on. So I'm going to take the very back of the strip, I'm going to pinch it and then I'm going to pull back the fibres so that I end up with this bit to tie in. Now I'm going to set it up towards the, with the skin towards myself because then as I wrap over the tying thread will want to take it over. So I'm set it on the side and as I wrap it'll end up on the top. Once I'm happy that it's on top, I'm going to tie it down. And then I'm going to tie in a rib. Now, I'm going to use a silver oval for this but you can use silver flat or whatever suits yourself. So I'll tie that in now. Tie it in my side and I'm just going to take it across to the far side and put one turn over it. And that's just for the initial turn to hold the uh, to hold this down. I like it to be fairly uh, perpendicular to the direction of the shank. So body is black chenille. Tie that in. Tie it back to the back. And then take my tying thread to the front and wrap this on. Mm. 
once I get to the front of my lead, I'm sort of going to hold this in place. I'm actually tightening it by twist, pinching it and twisting it over in the direction that I wrapped it. And then I'm going to take a turn in front of the lead and tie in, tie off my chenille and trim it. So that is our body made. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the zonker strip over the back of the fly. And then I'm going to separate out this bit here. I'm just going to use a little bit of saliva just to stroke it back. I'm separating this out till it's just behind the uh, the bit of fur that I've separated out to is just about level with the back of the hook eye. We're holding all in place then I'm going to wrap backwards that will trap down some of these fibers on top here and make a nice wing shape. Trim that off. Now I'm going to take wet my finger and thumb again and I'm going to pull all the fibers straight up. We now take our tinsel and sort of wiggle it through. We're trying not to tie down fibers if we can. We're trying to get them separated at the point of where we're tying it in if we at all can. So four or five turns, whatever fits. Separate out your fibers of your hair as you're going. Last turn coming up my side. And tie off the tinsel. So now we are going to put on the throat. So the throat is a guinea fowl. So I've taken a guinea fowl feather here. I'm going to strip off the rubbishy bits. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this here back once there's a bit of length to the fibers nip out the tip. So that'll leave me with this. So if I now slide this forward, what I'm going to do is tie this on underneath to make like a beard. So I'll flip the fly over. I'll place the V-shaped or chevron shaped guinea fowl feather on the side. I'm sort of pinching it in place and then as I take a wrap or two over then the stem should slide over till it's in the midline underneath, like this. Once it's in, that, it's in that position, I'm just going to sort of hold it down and then slide by pulling the stalk of it. I'm sliding it until I get just to where the thread is about to pop off the last little bit of stem. A couple of nice tight turns and we can choose either to fold this back and tie it in or get in here nice and tight now with our scissors and snip that off. Once it's in place tie it in nice and neat. So as you can see we now have a nice sort of like keel boat bottom shape uh, throat in place there. Now to finish our fly we're going to put on a bit of bronze mallard over the top. So I'm going to take a bronze mallard feather and what I'm aiming for is some of this bit at this end of it because it's a little bit more webby and clingy to itself so I'll just pull that out off the side of the feather 
grab it and pull it against the stock to take it off. That bunch now I'm going to take into and fold or lay on top of each other so they're now it's now double layered but the tips are level. I'm going to set that up on top of my fly, pinch it down around it and then take a pinch loop and tighten and the second one tighten and once I'm happy it's in place then I can put extra wraps on there. Up a bit of my thread there. And now pull up the waist ends, use sharp scissors and snip that off. I'm going to add a little bit of clear varnish at this stage, just into those cut wing points. And then wrap over that and back to create a nice neat head. Whip finish or half hitch, whatever you're used to. I use my hands. And then it's time to varnish the fly. Again, I use black thread so I can use clear varnish. And that is our zonker stripped version of the Ace of Spades tight. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, Tell your friends, check out the other hundreds of videos I have to suit all tastes on my channel and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.